Hello and welcome to this video where we will look at how to insert the delta symbol in Excel. The delta symbol is commonly used in Excel to present a change in values. And in this video, we are going to look at three different methods to insert the delta symbol. The first method is to insert the symbol using the ribbon. So if I click in cell E2 and then click insert and symbol on the far right, from the symbol window, you can actually see the delta symbol already in my recently used symbols. But to find that, first of all, you would ensure that you have the font that you want to use in the font drop down. So I currently have Calibri. And then in the subset list, we can change that to Greek and Coptic. That will jump us straight to the correct subset. And from there, it's a case of locating the symbol. And you can see it in the bottom left, say that that is the Greek capital letter Delta. We can then click insert. And if I move this window out of the way, I can see it's been inserted into cell E2. We can then close down that window. But before we do that, let's look at another symbol. Because although we talk of inserting the delta symbol, it's more common in Excel to use the black pointing arrows. These arrows are filled and we can easily change their color for better and more effective presentation on our dashboards and reports. Now those symbols are in the Windings 3 gallery. So if I change this font gallery from Calibri to Wingdings 3, and then it's a case of scrolling through and finding the symbols you need. Here is the up facing arrow, and we also have the down facing arrow as well. I can insert these by clicking on the arrow, clicking insert, and I will repeat that behavior for the down arrow as well, as I'm going to use these again shortly. I can then close down that window, and that is one method. Very simple, just inserting them from the symbol gallery. However, it is a manually intensive job. Now remember, if I needed those symbols again, when I come back into that symbol gallery, they will be in the recently used symbols list. Now another method, if you have a number pad on your keyboard, is to type Alt and 30. That is the keyboard sequence to insert one of those black pointing arrows. So if I click a cell such as F4, ensure that your number lock is on so you can access the numbers in that keypad. And then I can simply type Alt 30 and I have that up facing arrow. The down arrow is Alt 31. So nice and simple there, even faster than using the ribbon if you have that number area of your keyboard. Now those methods are great, but if we are creating our Excel reports, we are probably looking for something a little bit more automated, as the values we are working with may be changing over time due to a query or a formula or something of that sort. So in this example, I actually have two columns of values in A and B there, last week and this week. And then we have a formula in column C that calculates the change in value as a percent. Now I want the positive values to be presented with one of those up arrows, a delta symbol, and a negative value to be shown as a down arrow. Now to do this, we can use our custom number formatting brilliant feature of Excel, which is far more powerful than many people realize. Now, before I go into the format cells dialog, I want to take a copy of those two arrows that I just inserted to a cell. Because once I'm in the window, I won't be able to do insert symbol or use my keyboard sequence. So I want to copy them to the clipboard first. 
So we'll just come to cell F4, and I'm just going to simply take a copy of those, press escape to abort that cell, select the values that I have in C2 to C8, that will do for this demonstration, and then come into format cells by pressing control one, or any other method you may prefer. In format cells, I can go to the custom area of our number formatting, and then we'll create our own format in here. Now in the type box, I would like to use a different format for positive numbers than we have for negative numbers. And in this formatting area, those are separated by a semicolon. So to the left of the semicolon, I'm actually going to start by typing in green in these square brackets, because I'd like to use a green font for these positive values. I will then put a space and paste in these symbols that I just copied from a worksheet cell. I'm just going to delete the down arrow for a moment, put in a space, and then type 0% which is the way I'd like the number to be presented. No decimal places and with the percentage sign. I can then put in that semicolon to signify the end of that positive section and now I'm into the negative section. I will use a red font. So there's a few colors that you can specify just by their name and you can find these with a quick Google if you're interested in seeing the full list. I'll just put a space and paste in to put the down arrow in. And then I think you know what's coming next. I'm going to put a negative sign and 0%. That's how I'd like the negative number to appear. From here, we can now click OK. And that has applied that format to those values. And this time, this is automated. So if one of those values was to change, uh, let's imagine that this value in B6 was less than that and was only 100, we can see it automatically reacts and shows the correct symbol and also have the color in the other number formatting. So that is an effective use. I'm just going to undo that step and I want to do one last thing here because I'm never a fan of the green that they use when you use the word green for the color. So what I want to do instead is use a color number. So I'll select those values, control one for format cells, and where it has green for the color, I'm going to change it to color 10. So color 10. And that is a specific green that I'm much more fond of. Once again, you can find a list of these colors and numbers uh, with a quick Google if you're interested but I know that's the one I want. I'm going to click OK, and that's a much better green in my opinion. So this video looked at three different ways of inserting a delta symbol, or a similar arrow symbol, to present change of values in Excel. I hope you found it useful. Please click the subscribe button to be notified about new videos at this channel. And I hope to see you again soon.